Hey, this is Kev from Blender Binge. In today's video on Blender 2.8, we're going to be making a coffee bean using sculpting. Ready? Let's go. So the first thing I do is you'll notice 2.8 gives you this sculpting tab, which is really cool. You can kind of just go in here and uh, immediately start sculpting, which if you're just on your cube, it's, you don't have enough geometry to actually do anything. So you're not going to really be getting any results. But if you turn on this dino topo, and you'll get this error, this warning thing, just hit OK for now. You can go in now and start adding more geometry. And you'll see what this really cool effect does is it actually takes your cube that you had almost no geometry on and if I hit tab now you'll see that it added a whole bunch of geometry as you're painting okay it adds this geometry now when I hit tab it went off dino topo so you check that again just hit OK and you can keep adding geometry okay and it'll make a kind of a big mess okay kind of like I did in the 2.79 video except this is cooler because well the implementation in 2.8 just looks cooler so this Dino Topo lets you go in and do some really cool stuff. You can, you can really just start sculpting and adding geometry on the fly as you go with this dynamic topology tool. So how does this help us? Well, if I go File, New, General, okay, I can start creating my coffee bean by just getting the shape that I want first. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to add modifier subdivision surface and I'm going to give it some subdivisions. I'm going to hit apply and now I have this subdivision. Okay. If I go to modeling here I'm going to turn on this show whole scene transparent which lets me select through the object. Okay. I'm going to hit alt A and being that I'm on, uh, I'm on vertex select, I'm going to hit B and I'm going to select these, these vertices and I am going to go to the transform tool. Now one thing I want to show you too, this transform tool in 2.8 is awesome because it lets you go in and scale, move, and rotate all in the same tool. And it gives you these manipulator handles really cool okay you want to use this this is very helpful so watch in one just one move here I can scale this down I can pull this down and I get the basic shape of my coffee bean of course it's still round so watch this I hit a once and now I can scale this in and now I got shape of a coffee bean and I can scale it oops I can scale this down a little bit by grabbing that little block handle and now I got the basic shape of a coffee bean a roasted coffee bean, I should say. Okay, make the difference there. It's not the green bean, we're gonna do the roasted brown one. All right, so I can now hit this, uh, let me see, I can select edges. All right, so I can hit two on the keyboard and it goes to edges. And I can hit uh, Alt-A to deselect. And now if I just shift select the edges I want. All right, oops, I don't want that one, so I hit Alt or Control shift select that I can now pull this down and I'm getting the basic shape of my coffee bean okay so it's got that little cleft in the middle and I'm gonna hit one on the keyboard to go back to the vertices and I'm gonna pull this guy down and I think this edge this guy comes up a little too far I'm gonna pull him down a little bit too and maybe pull this guy down a little bit So now, if I go back to layout, and you can see I have the basic shape of my coffee bean. Now, I probably just want to sculpt a little bit just to kind of give this a, a, a more messy, uh, messy texture. And maybe I'll, maybe I'll pull this stuff in a little bit here. So I'll go back here to modeling. Okay, I'll hit Alt-A to deselect. I'll hit B for box select. And I'll just go ahead and pull these guys in a little closer here. Alt A to deselect, B to select. Go in here, pull these guys in a little bit. 
Okay, so that's pretty good. Now if I go to layout, you see here I have more of a coffee bean shape. And I can also smooth this out. Okay, you used to have that smooth button over here. Now you can go to object, shade smooth. Okay, so there's, there's my basic coffee bean. So now if I take this into sculpt, I have something to really work with. So I go to sculpting, and you see it already kind of looks a lot like a coffee bean, right? But I can add some more texture to it. So I'll turn on dino, dino topo, all right? And I can just go in and just lightly start adding a little more kind of bumpiness and, you know, just kind of make it look a little more, I don't know, kind of messy. Right? It's not perfect, yeah, but you can add some texture to it and kind of just mess it up a little bit because it's nature. You know, nature's never really perfect looking and symmetrical. So you can, you can go ahead and, and, and really kind of mess it up. When you go back out to layout, you see that you have this kind of nice, new, messy coffee bean. All right, and you can smooth shade it. And now it's kind of more, more like a, like a coffee bean, all right? So without this video getting too long, uh, I can just quickly go into uh, shading here and I can give it a, a shader that, you know, make it brown, play around with specular, play around with roughness, all right? And there's kind of your nice, messy coffee bean. So you can make it smoother, you can make it less, you know, less bumpy, you can always go and refine it. But that's kind of how I would go ahead and start, start using sculpting. And it really lets you add a lot of detail into these objects that would normally be, you know, relatively flat and, you know, you'd have to actually physically model a lot of stuff. Where now you just have a really easy way to go in and, and, uh, and really kind of refine it and play with it and, you know, get the look you want. Okay, so hopefully that helps. Very quick tutorial, very basic, but uh, that's, that's how I would go ahead and go in and use sculpting and, and start really playing with things. And then you can always go ahead and retopologize this if you want later on, or you could back it out and get it you know less bumpy, but that's kind of how I would go ahead and start playing. All right, so go in, play with this, learn, and get awesome. And if you got anything out of this video, hit like, subscribe, hit that little bell notification so you get notified when I make more, and I'll just keep making more. Thanks. Talk to you later.